Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. A couple weeks ago, I did a video on changing filament with the standard Marlin firmware. Uh, that has the change filament module on it. So today, I wanted to show you how to change filament on a printer that does not have that, such as this Endor 3 with the default firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's power on. And I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see it a little bit better, what I'm working with. Alright. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat. So you go to prepare, preheat PLA, or ABS if you're working with that, and just preheat PLA end. We don't have to worry about heating up the bed for this. All right, now, while that's preheating, uh, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to help the channel out. All right, All right so while that's going, let's take a look at what we have here. We've got the filament that's feeding into the cold end of the extruder, and then that just feeds into the hot end. So once the hot end is done, or heated up, we can go ahead and just pull this back through. Uh, should be just another minute here. We're at 107. And while that's going, I'm also going to open up a new filament. Alright, so we got that ready, and this is at 175, so it should be good enough. Alright, so here, we're going to want to clamp this piece down, or if you have any mods, it'll pretty much be the same thing. You're just going to clamp down here, and then start pulling out the actual feed, and then you can roll it as well. Um, I tend to just pull all of it out and then roll it up, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, and then this little stringy mess at the end, I'm sure you can see it. Um, I just go ahead and cut it off. Okay, there we go. All right. Now you want to roll up your other filament. And there is nice little holes to actually keep everything aligned on most of the spools. Some of them don't have it but I tend to use it if it does, as you can see here. Um, it just makes sure that it doesn't cause a mess inside the spool. All right, next we're gonna put the new one on. All right, so one thing you're gonna wanna do is cut this at a 45. Um, it just makes it easier to feed into the actual tubing. All right, so we're going to put this up here. So now we're going to have to push this in again. And then kind of play with it a little bit to get it into the actual tube. There we go. And then just keep feeding it until you see it hit the hot end. You can see it going through the tube, at least with a darker color like this. But you're gonna to wanna to keep it going until you start to see filament, the filament color that you're using come out of the extruder here. Uh, it'll be coming out right here. As you can see, there's the white that was there and a little bit of brown, so we wanna feed it a little bit more. All right, there we go. And then, let's go ahead and turn this around a little bit here. Uh, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is the purge. Um, it just helps clear out any of the extra filament that was in there. Uh, this is 
part of the standard uh, filament change process with the Marlin firmware. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to go to prepare, uh, move axis, go down to the extruder, and uh, I'll just do move 10 millimeter. and just bump it up one so it does the 10. So what that's doing is it's um, purging 10 millimeters of the filament through here. And now we've got a stringy mess, so go and clean that up. All right, so after you clean up the mess, just go ahead and hit the menu button to just to go back to the home page here or the top menu and you are all set. That's really all there is to it. The process isn't too difficult. I just wanted to make sure that I was covering uh, both ways to change the filament based on the printer type that you have. Uh, so go ahead and uh, smash that like button and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.